Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about LeaderCast 2013. I got so much information from LeaderCast and in this session I want to share with you a few of the things that I learned from some of those speakers. The topic obviously was simply lead and I want to share with you what I learned, the notes that I took from a few of the speakers about LeaderCast 2013. Stay tuned. Our first speaker was Andy Stanley and Andy talked about obviously simply lead and the three things that I learned from Andy first thing he said was wherever there is growth there is complexity which requires simplicity so there's three questions that Andy asked uh, when he was speaking to us and the notes that really resonated with me was where are you going where are you going in your organization and what are you doing in your organization? So where are you going? What are you doing? These are the questions that need to be defined, okay? And where do I fit in? What is your critical role in the organization? So those three questions that Andy Stanley mentioned, I really wanted to share those with you guys because they resonated with me. Remember, what are you doing? Where are you going? And where do you fit in? So our next speaker was David Allen, and David talked about appropriately engaging. And how do you get there? How do you appropriately engage? And we're all we're just talking about simply leading. So let's talk, let's let's think about this. Appropriately engaging. So the people that you work with, the people that are in your organization, how do you engage those individuals to become successful? How do you engage those individuals to become leaders and the next people to take over the business or take over your organization? The next thing he talked about was capture your thinking. Write it down. Write it down. You have to write it out. Exactly. What are you doing? Where are you going? You have to write it out. The next thing he said was to make the make outcome, make the outcome of your next steps, your action items. You have to make sure you clearly define your action items and use the right maps. So David Allen really told us and, te and taught us to appropriately engage and how to get others to engage. So our next speaker and really engaging speaker was Dr. Henry Cloud. Dr. Henry Cloud spoke about boundaries of leadership. Okay, define your boundaries. Okay, if, if you're telling someone you're not going to do it, you won't do it. So we need to have necessary endings. And he also spoke about pruning. So imagine for each plant that's out there in your garden, you have to prune. I know in, top, in my front yard, we have some um, Leland cypresses and my wife prunes those Leland cypresses. That's the same thing with your business, same thing with your organization. If you do not prune, people are not gonna be a perfect fit. Every time in your organization, you're gonna have some people that are not a perfect fit and we have to eventually prune those. Another thing that Dr. Henry Cloud also spoke about was hoarding. Do not hoard. There are many hoarders out there that, you know, you want to hold on to something so long until it's it's out of date. Right now, we're in the digital age. There's nothing that's analog. So if you in your business you have analog items or you have analog people that are a part of your organization, sometimes you need to prune those individuals. So those are some of the things that I learned from Dr. Henry Cloud. Hey guys, so my all-time favorite speaker, obviously, is Mr. John Maxwell. Now John Maxwell, we know he is simply a leader's leader. And he always says that leadership is influence. Nothing more and nothing less. But some of the things that I got from Mr. John Maxwell was business schools reward complexity. They reward complexity because in, in a business school or in school or in, in the structure of a school or organization, it's all complex. They teach you complex things out of a book. And if it's not complex, then it's not right. But in business and outside of school and actual leadership, we need to be simple. We need to simplify things so people can understand them and take the necessary actions. You also spoke, spoke about leadership doesn't have to be complex. Make it simple. It's not easy uh, to be simple, but it's effective. You also talked about complexity is deep and slow. And then he also talked about simplicity is shallow and fast. And you want to incorporate those things into your business. Complexity requires questioning. Simple is deep and fast. And 
three other things that I got from Mr. John Maxwell was you must always add value to people every day. You ask who, at the end of the day, you ask who did I add value to today? Did I add value to anyone? And then subtract your leadership landmines. You want to make sure that you get the landmines out of the way. Take them out of your leadership, okay? Out of your leadership body, you want to take them out. Out of your organization, take them out. And then the third thing is multiply your strengths by developing them. You don't want to multiply your weaknesses. You want to multiply your strengths. So our next speaker was Mike Krzyzewski, head coach of the Duke basketball team and the National USA basketball team. And he kept it really simple. And that's what this conference leader cast was all about, simply leading. And he said to create a culture of success. Don't delegate, but empower. That was very profound for me. He said, don't delegate to somebody else, but empower them. Empower that individual, okay? The next thing he said was, communication is important to leadership. Just listen. Leadership isn't always about telling somebody something. Sometimes you need to listen so that you can soak that information. And the next thing he said was always tell the truth. And then he said, take immediate action as a leader. You must always take immediate action. And you must have trust built into your organization. If you don't have trust into your organization, unfortunately, you won't be simply leading. And last but not least, guys, uh, the last speaker that I really resonated with and got some stuff from, from was Condoleezza Rice. And she also just simplified her steps. She gave us some few action items and a few things. And, and it's really simple. She talked about how during 9-11, how, you know, inside she was raging. It was a lot of things going on inside, but she had to stay calm. And this is what she said. Be right with yourself. If you're not right with yourself, you can't be right with others. You can't lead an organization, so be right with yourself. Then be an optimist in every situation. Don't look at the downside. Always look as look at the bright side of things with the glass half full, not glass empty. Be an optimist. Then you want to be able to motivate toward a common goal. Then you want you want to know that out of difficulty, circumstances, great things happen. So guys, I just wanted to share these videos and these testimonies from my leadership, my LeaderCast experience 2013. I want to thank you for joining me. And remember, you must always lead like you. This is Lincoln Parks, guys. And I'll see you guys next week. Take care.